But eventually, all roads reach their end. Still each breath. Our world is broken, stagnant, fallen into the abyss. But everything is born from darkness, even the universe itself. Now, do you see it? A glimmer within the void. The spark of life still burns, and evolution forges a new way forward. Once your faith overcomes despair, once you move beyond death, once life returns to this world, we'll meet beyond that path. Liquid nitrogen, negative 195.79 Celsius. Physical movement or brain function, not detected. Subject status, stable. Dagger, still stuck in the sheath. Inspection 481 complete. <sighs> Requesting a higher power outlay for the isolation chamber to prevent any further outages. What's that? Secure me, breach. Secure me, breach. <laughs> Thank <sighs> you.
Well, it's good to see another face. I thought I was on my own. And you're a metahuman, too. I don't know who you are, but I know what you are. You awakened the cradle, and that's something only a metahuman could do. Do you remember who you are? It must have been that fluctuation just now. It trapped me in the cradle. It could have robbed you of your memories. You can call me V. It seems that our interests are aligned, metahuman. I came to secure a deviation, a paper butterfly, but I think something must have scared it. Right now though, we need to move. I can show you the way out of this place. But only if you help me complete my mission first. All you have to do is listen to what I tell you. I'll be right here in the cradle. Now let's go. and Starfall. Ordinary humans can't take high levels of Stardust exposure. When they do, they end up just like But you're a metahuman. You should be fine. In fact, if the conditions are right, you might even be able to use Stardust to your advantage.
first deviation. And look how gentle it is. Reach out your left hand. See if you can feel the gimbal. Then try and secure it. Yes, and look what I found. A meta. Only just woken up. They were kind enough to activate the cradle and set me free. Thank you, meta human. This means a lot to me. You can call me Mitsuko. I used to be a meta human as well. Rosetta did all kinds of experiments on me. That is, until V saved me. Mitsuko is a very special meta. She can sense even the tiniest fluctuations it's in the thanks struggles. to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. Yes, an emissary of sorts. I wanted it to help rescue other metas. The recent fluctuation must have startled it. The important thing right now is to secure it. See that thing in the center of the room? It's a device for securing deviations. This makes them more useful and safer to be around. The butterfly is recovered. I think it likes you.
Deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of. They can radiate stardust, which can lead to all kinds of unpredictable consequences. This is why we created the Mayflies. We make cradles and securement units to keep deviations contained. We're trying to find ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. We figure this is our best chance of cleaning up the mess that Rosetta made. No one's exactly sure what they are, just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension, something we call rift space. When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. We think this brings our world and rift space closer together, like with Starfall. And when that happens, it becomes possible all the hell between twist. the two planes of existence. Some deviations are friendly, like the butterfly, but others, like the ones inside monoliths, are extremely dangerous. It's not practical to secure all of them, of course, but if we can learn more about them, maybe we can find ways to live alongside also, them. The stardust just goal. keeps spreading, and we aren't sure why. Must have gotten through. Come on, Meta. A deviation from another world just entered this space and it won't Take go down without a fight. It can help. <laughs> 